This channel is designed for adults viewing only and certain videos will contain rated M for mature video games, featuring realistic violence, gore and suggestive themes. If you are not an adult, do not view the content on this channel. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down memory lane. That Sega Master System controller can only mean one thing. We're gonna be playing the Sega Master System. Get ready. Today's episode of Memory Lane. We're gonna be playing Get Ready Afterburner for the Sega Master System. And check out that, that crazy uh, box art right there. I mean, check that out. Hey, they actually tried this time. Let's uh, focus this camera a little bit right here. Look at this. Got the nice, awesome blue Sega logo right here on the bottom. You got the jets trying to hunt down these other two jets right here, blowing them up. Now, this portion of the uh, the box is actually pretty pretty damn good. And up here you have your generic Sega Master System text, font, whatever you want to call it. Now this is a greatest hits. So uh, the Master System has some greatest hits before the PlayStation did. And we got a couple of screenshots right here in the back. Now look at the, uh, let's see if we can get a little bit closer here. Check this out. We got the, uh, the jet right there, I'm about ready to blow up these two guys right here. We got the uh, carrier right there. And, uh, this is probably the uh, most least popular version of Afterburner. But man, I remember playing this back in the day. I only had three games on the Master System, and this is one of them, and I used to definitely play this quite a bit. And uh, back when I owned the game, I only had the cartridge. The bear cartridge, just like that. Nothing fancy, and that was it. That's what the cartridge looked like. It just said Afterburner, pop it in, play it, nothing fancy, but when you once you pop that game in, it was explosive action. It was insane. And uh, this copy of it, we have the manual. Let's, uh, let's check this out. Never actually looked at the manual before. We have uh, Afterburner, a flight manual mission file. Oh boy, this sounds very technical. And it gives you a little picture of the Sega Master System. And this is great. I'm glad that I actually got my hands on a Master System. It's definitely a system that I really loved playing. Didn't have a lot of games for it, but it was way more popular in Europe and Brazil than over here in the US. And I don't think the Master System gets the credit it deserves. It had a lot of really cool games. And we have the uh, F-14 Thundercat with Mox. Mach 2 speed, and uh, check that out. We got the uh, cool little il illustration right there of the Sega Master System controller. Now, one thing that's weird about the controller is it has like a weird square D-pad. Now, even though it's square and it looks a lot different from the NES D-pad, it actually works quite well. It's not bad. You see how it looks right here. And uh, the reason why they had to make their D-pad different is because Nintendo owned the patent on their D-pad, so if they copied their D-pad, they probably would have got sued. And uh, let's see here. And these are probably your enemies right here. Yeah, bonus stages, got a couple of screenshots. So you can see the manuals are just as plain and basic as the actual box art. Nothing really fancy, they get down to like pretty much the details on the game and that's it, nothing really crazy at all. And you even have like a little scoreboard in this manual right here, check that out, that's pretty funny. So whoever has like the highest score, you can definitely write down your score and your name right there. That is pretty funny. 
So rather than having like a traditional arcade scoreboard where you can save it in the cartridge or on the board, that's your scoreboard right there. That's pretty funny. You got a 90 day limited warranty, Sega game card warranty right here, and it gives you the whole detail on that. Which I don't think we're going to be using that because the uh, Master System is pretty awesome and it doesn't need a warranty, so you also have like a little bit of a copyright right there. And yeah, this also has like a poster or something with it. What is this? So this looks like some sort of poster. I don't want to mess it up or anything like that, but yeah. This is like a little advertisement. It gives you like an idea of like different games that they have and all that stuff. Nice little poster. And it has a pretty cool Master System poster right there. That is actually really, really awesome. Look at that. Just take a look at that. That is crazy. You got like Outrun. <laughs> look at this. This is this is like amazing. Let me see if I can zoom out here for a second. This is like this is on a level with some of the best Atari box arts. And just look at that. That is pretty damn amazing. I like that. I would love to have a huge poster of this and just put it up on the wall. I'm not going to put it on the wall, I don't want to ruin it. But that is definitely some really awesome artwork on that poster right there. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading over to the CRT and we're going to be playing some Sega Master System. Good old Sega Master System intro right there. I love that thing. Alright, and we're going to be playing some Afterburner. I haven't played this in many years. This is literally the first time I've played this in probably over 25 years. I just received this in the mail. And we're going to be trying this out. Now back when I had this back in the day, it was on a bare cartridge, no case. And here we go. And I have not played this in many, many years. Oh my god. Look at this. I mean, just check this out. I mean, this is amazing. 8-bit afterburner on the Master System. It actually plays pretty well, too. Just so you know. I'm not, I'm not the greatest at it, by all means, but it's still really, really fun to play. Now, the Master System was a lot more popular over in uh, Europe. A lot more popular than the NES console. And it was uh, very, very popular over in Brazil. For some reason, it didn't catch on all that well over here in the U.S. Here, oh, 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 oh! Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. Now, if you want to play a really crazy version of Afterburner, you want to get the 32X version. The 32X version is like... It's nuts. This version is bittersweet. I remember playing this a lot when I was a kid. And uh, this version of Afterburner, I definitely grew up playing this one. And here we go, we're going to the next stage right here. Now uh, this version of Afterburner is pretty fun. It's, it's not probably not the best version by all means, but it's still fun to play. You got the, uh, the Master System controller right here. And the D-pad's really weird, because it's like a square looking D-pad. Alright, let's see if we can make it to the third level here. Let's see if we can do it. I never could really get that far in the game when I was younger. So I was... I had the Master System back when I was like six, seven, eight years old. But I would still have a lot of... Oh my god! What the hell is that? These, these guys are really... Oh, he shot me! This is incredibly... A lot of fun. I, I, I can't, can't express how much fun this is. This is pretty fun. It's definitely a flashback from the past for me. I know we got some uh, European viewers here. Uh, there's a lot of European Master System games that never released over in North America. And in fact, I'm importing some of them, so eventually we'll be playing a few European games. 
So the uh, master system is actually uh, region free. And uh, let's let's try that again. Actually, let's watch to see. They they'll actually show little demonstrations here. We'll get the uh, awesome title screen and uh, the afterburner logo with the clouds on the bottom. Get the little picture of the pilot with the the jet right there. That looks pretty amazing. And just look at that. And you'll see in a second they'll probably show like a little demonstration of what this game looks like. And this is definitely one of my favorite Master System games. And here we go. If you have an idea of how you want to play this game, watch the computer right here. Look at this. The computer is definitely uh, going crazy right here. Let me check that out. Man, he's doing good. Look at that. And there's like a little radar thing on the top of the screen reader you have to watch also. But it's, it's been over 20 years since I played this game. Probably, I want to say, easily, probably 25 years. I will say 20, uh, probably around 94, 95 will probably be one of, one of the last times I remember playing this. And just look at this, the computer guy is actually going nuts right here. I just want to try this one more time. Let's give it one more try right here. I love the beginning right here. Now in the beginning, the actual computer says, get ready. They actually have voices in this game, which is pretty cool. Let me see if you can lock on here. Oh, oh, oh! I mean, look how crazy this is. And the, uh, the audio on the Master System had that distinctive sound. But the, uh, the music on this game sounded really good, in my opinion. I thought the music was really good. It, for me, it defined the Master System, like, the music on this game it's one of my favorite soundtracks on the master system oh oh i got shot again so the master system is not known to have like the greatest music unless you have the fm audio ship but the standard american master system sounded gritty and dirty when it played its sound and audio and music and i liked it i honestly liked how it sounded it had that almost like an atari sound to it and i thought it was pretty good now that's just a little example of Afterburner. That's one of the first games that I played on the Master System, and I only played a couple of games on Master System back in the day. I only owned Afterburner. Let's see, Afterburner, Great Baseball, and Hang On. Those are the three games that I owned back in the day. I did not really have a lot of Master System games, but they were pretty hard to find after a while. So those are the three games that I repeatedly played on my Master System over and over again. And now uh, the other two games, Hang on in Great Baseball, I will do separate videos on those. But check out this awesome Afterburner game. It's definitely great. Look at that. 